We are discussing different forms of psychotherapies that are mainly defined as different forms of verbal treatments that are devised for the treatment of different sorts of medical or psychological ailments. Now, what, what are the different uh, types or kinds of these psychotherapies? We'll be discussing them over here in this section. Uh, there are different approaches. There can be the cognitive therapies, the behavioral therapies, then we have the humanistic approaches, which are basically the newer techniques that are implied. So Freud Simon was one of the scientists that worked quite hard for the development of the psychotherapies and the different techniques are devised uh, that were originally developed by Freud Simons and that are implicated till time uh, to treat these uh, psychological ailments in a lot of patients. So there are a lot of beneficial effects that are ranging uh, to these psychotherapies. A different kind, a range of uh, psychological disorders can be treated to, th through these uh, psychotherapies. It can vary from the uh, depressive episodes, from the anxious episodes, uh, even a lot of phobias and schizophrenias can be treated through these psychological uh, therapies. And sometimes if the need is uh, over there, they are sometimes coupled on with the pharmacological therapies just to enhance the outcomes uh, of a certain therapy that is carried out in an individual. So we'll be discussing first of all the effectiveness of these psychotherapies over here. How are these uh, psychotherapies effective in different kinds of cases uh, and what are the factors that uh, basically vary the outcome in different individuals? It can range from the uh, environmental factors, from the personal factors of the patient as well. So the different types of the psychological therapies will be discussed over here and then the different approaches of these uh, psychological therapies will also be discussed over here. So what are the different techniques that are devised when you're carrying out the psychological therapies? Uh, that will be discussed over here in this section. So what is the effectiveness of psychotherapy? Um, it is more effective. It is an underrated kind of a treatment. Sometimes mostly the patients think that a medicine or a pharmacological drug would be more effective than just carrying out a psychotherapy. But most of the psychological ailments can be treated just by carrying out an effective uh, psychotherapy and the techniques if they're used uh, in their particular manner in the right way, the results can be uh, quite uh, astonishing in a lot of patients. More than 75 to 90 percent of the people who receive the therapy feel that it has helped them out. Longer a person stays in the therapy, the greater the improvement is. So the psychotherapy works as well alone or as it can be also combined with the drugs or with the pharmacological therapies in a lot of cases. So there are a lot of types of the psychotherapies. The factors that we were already discussing, they basically contribute over here in this pie chart. You can have a look. Uh, it ranges from the techniques and the model factors, the expectancy and the placebo effects are sometimes devised to see what is the effectiveness of the psychotherapies. And then the therapeutic relationship uh, is almost 30%. The client variables and the extra therapeutic events can also affect the outcomes of the psychotherapy in these particular cases that we're talking about. So no one psychotherapy method is effective for all problems matched to the particular client and the particular problem. It's again very useful. The different kinds of approaches that we were already discussing, it uh, basically depends upon the electric therapies uh, that we've already been using. And then we have the common factors approach that is sometimes quite useful when you're carrying out these uh, kinds of approaches in this method. The common factors approaches, it basically depends upon a therapeutic alliance established between the patient and as well as the uh, therapist when you're talking about it. And then we have the exposure of the patient to the prior difficulties, either in imagination or it can also be um, in reality that these patients are sometimes carried out. Now, allows basically the patient to experience the past problems uh, in new and more benign ways. So these are the key factors over here when you're carrying out these uh, common factors approach in this particular patient that we're talking about. Expectations. Uh, for a positive change. So the patient should always expect a positive change when he's carrying out 
that particular kind of psychotherapy uh, that we were already talking about. There is a therapeutic alliance. Uh, protected settings are being used. Learning and practice of new behaviors are being used. And there's a positive experiences uh, for the client and for even the family as well. So this is the particular crux when we're talking about the common factor approach. It should be a protected uh, setting. There should be the communication skills that we've already talked about between the patient and as well as the uh, doctor when he's carrying out those counseling sessions or these verbal uh, talk out sessions with his or her uh, patient or client. Then EBTs is another technique that is basically the evidence-based therapies that are um, in a lot of cases they're devised. Uh, what basically it refers to the techniques or the interventions that have produced the desired outcomes in the individuals or the therapeutic change changes in the controlled studies in a lot of cases. So when we have a patient at our hand and he's basically suffering from some sort of a psychological ailment, what are the approaches that we're going to have? If we consider it to be a general problem, for example, uh, it can be a case of anxiety or depression or certain phobias can also present as the psychological ailments. And when you're trying to treat that patient, you're trying to choose between the range of the therapies that are available for you, uh, ranging from the common factors approach, even to the evidence-based approach. You're going to weigh the risk versus the benefit ratio when you are carrying out a particular type of treatment. So this evidence-based uh, therapies are sometimes carried out depending upon the outcomes in that particular patient. For example, if you have a patient of depression at your hand and you are trying to carry out a particular kind of treatment, you're going to range uh, these treatments according to the clinical scores that you have already uh, took. For example, there's a clinical range cases, severity adjusted improvement scores. So these are the different scoring methods. Uh, over here, it is known as an ECON, that is ACORN, and it's almost 0.79% over here in this case. A red line basically indicates that it's a dotted red line indicate is indicating that it is highly effective over here. A dotted blue line is indicating the effectiveness of this treatment and then if there is this improvement score is basically shown by the blue uh, bar chart that is given over here and then we have the improvement score of all the other treatments is almost shown in the uh, green chart over here so this is basically shown and it these bar charts are basically developed after a lot of clinical trials that have been carried out and a lot of uh, different clinical trials in different settings have been carried out in a particular case so after that these bar charts have been developed uh, just to analyze what kind of a treatment uh, gives you uh, what kind of an outcome so this is how you basically compare or decide what kind of a treatment is more effective effective in this particular kind of a patient or a disease. So this is how basically you go about and analyze patients in this way. Uh, so in this uh, section, basically we highlighted the different approaches of the psychotherapies that can be carried out. And then we also discussed the EBTs, that is the evidence-based therapies that are being carried out. So that is the end of this section. Thank you for watching scardia.com.